The number of ways to consume legal THC in Iowa is growing. Bars and liquor stores are now offering drinks infused with THC. That's the main psychoactive compound in marijuana and hemp. Well, KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain joins us now live. And you looked into how sellers say this product is legal. It is. Recreational marijuana is still illegal in Iowa, but products from hemp with less than 0.3% THC are allowed. And now Iowa businesses are starting to take advantage of that. Michael Williams says he's a regular at Old Neighborhood Pub in Cedar Rapids. When the bar started carrying drinks infused with THC, he gave them a try. My review of it is a little on the relaxing side. Relaxing after he took a sip, but beforehand, there was some uncertainty about what he was trying. I asked quite a few questions. You know, to you know, give an educated understanding of what they were. In 2019, Governor Kim Reynolds signed the Iowa Hemp Act, which was then approved by the USDA in 2020. With that law, hemp plants, which, according to the Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship, have THC levels of 0.3% or less, are no longer controlled substances. Two to one ratio of CBD to THC in these. In January, Climbing Kites registered as a business in the state of Iowa. The company proclaims it's Iowa's first cannabis-infused social beverage. You could also say, it opened the floodgates. We actually got them before we were um, able to put them on our shelf, but we were able to get our permit, um, I think it was three weeks ago. We've actually had two orders go through already. Andrea Van Hook, owner of Old Neighborhood Pub, says she has to restock her THC drinks every day. It's a similar situation over at Local Craft Cellar, where owner Jason Wilkerson estimated THC products have been on the shelves for about eight weeks, and they've been extremely popular. Collectively, I would say the Climbing Kites brand is out performing 90% uh, of our craft beer brands. And we sell a lot of craft beer. Recreational marijuana is still illegal in the state of Iowa, but those at the bar I spoke to hoped the THC drinks were indicators of change. Everybody around us right now is legal except for Iowa, so Nebraska is working on it. In the meantime, though, you can still belly up to Van Hook's bar and find a way to, as she says, take the edge off. I have tried them, and I noticed that I just was a little bit calmer. I didn't have much of a, wasn't out there. <laughs> yeah. Wilkerson said the demographics of who was buying these drinks surprised him. He said at his store, at least, it was mainly those 50 and up. He guessed it was because these people were familiar with how cannabis products could help with aches and pains. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News.